assalam alaikum welcome to the course of digital logic design today we will be talking about what are state diagrams before this we have covered what is a state equation a state table and now we are covering a state diagram so keep remember that when we are analyzing the sequential circuits the first step is to uh, develop or derive the state equation for the given circuit After that we will write the state table which consists of mainly four uh, elements such as inputs, outputs, uh, present state and the next state. These are four basic elements in a state table and then the state diagram. So now what is a state diagram? State diagram is just another representation of the uh, data available on the state table. It could be referred as a graphical representation of the information or state diagram. And what we have is basically we have two elements. One is the circle and another is a directed line. So circle basically represents the state uh, of the given circuit. Okay and the directed lines are uh, referring to the transitions between states uh, which are indicated by directed lines connecting the circles. So the, if there is some input to the given state, what will be the given output? So these are basically represented by directed lines. So let's solve the example that we have covered in previous two lectures. This is the same example and that was the uh, uh, state table that we have derived. So last time when you have uh, wrote the state table it is basically in this form where you have 8 total rows given the different inputs. So you can write it also in this form. You have now 4 rows with different 2 columns for x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1 mentioning both the next states and finally the outputs. So now we will be covering how to draw a state diagram given this uh, to, uh, state table. Okay, we will be drawing the state diagram um, step by step, and you will understand each and every step how to draw a state diagram for any given state table. Okay, so let's start. So the first entry we have is the present state, which is zero zero for the input 0 and for the input 1. So let's take a circle. Now let me draw it here. A circle where we represent a state 0 and 0. Okay. And uh, if uh, there is a 0 input, if there is a 0 input to this state, the output would remain same. So let we have a directed line which represents the same output when there is input 0, the output at that present state would be 0. Okay. Then we have uh, if the input is 1, the next condition is if the input is 1, then we have a next, the next state which is 0, 1. Okay. So the next state, let draw it in another circle, the next state is 0, 1. Okay. So if the input is 1, the output will be the output will be 0. Uh, okay, let, let me uh, uh, clear it again. If the present state is 0, 0 and the input is 1, the output state will be this one or the next state will be this one and the output value will be this one. Okay, so let draw a transition line given the input is equal to 1, the present state output will be 0. Okay. So, this was the for the first case. Now, let us take the second case. Let me draw it with another color. So, for 0, 1, for the present state 0, 1, if the input is 0, the output will be 1 and the state will be, the next state will be 0, 0. So, the next state is 0, 0. Let me draw a directed line from 0, 1 to 0, 0. The input was 0 and the 
output was 1 okay then if the present state is 0 1 and the input is 1 the next state would be 1 1 so we need to uh, draw the next state which is 1 1 and uh, the input is the input is uh, 1 with the output output what is the output that is the corresponding output to the input 1 and the output is 0 ok keep remember that, that this output is the output before the edge uh, the edge occurs before the clock edge occurs if it goes to a next state then we'll, we will have a new output ok so uh, let's take the third case if the uh, input is 1 0 let me draw it is a 1 0 is the state given this one now sorry this is the state if the state is 1 0 ok if the now if the input is 0 the output would be 0 0 so let me draw a transition line to 0 0 when the input is 0 what is the output the corresponding output will be 1 ok so 0 by 1 the 0 refers to the input and the that refers to the output and uh, finally if the ok the second case is if the input is 1 0 sorry if the present state is 1 0 and the input is 1 then we will have a 1 0 output ok so we will have a transition line back towards this and the input is 1 the output is 0 this is the corresponding output ok now the final case would be now the final case would be to uh, look for this state which is 1 1 if the input is 0 we will go back into the 0 0 condition so we will go back into this state so the directed line will this one so the input is 0 and the output is 1 that is why when you apply a 0 to the strings of 1's you will get a 0 uh, uh, you will uh, you will find the next state is 0 0 that is called that is why it's this circuit is called a zero detector circuit it means that if the states are uh, with 1 1's and if you apply a zero input the next state would be 0 0 now the final uh, input to this state is with x is equal to 1 so the next output would be 1 0 so the directed line will go from this to this one and the input is 1 the output is 0 ok so that is all about the state diagram let us draw this diagram in a more neatly way so we will get so this is the uh, state diagram drawn in more neatly way for this given uh, sequential circuit hope this will be clear to you if you have any question write in the comment section thank you